I was trying to figure out actually how I would recognise you guys, and then I thought, I know one of you is a Villa fan, so yeah. who's, who's going to look the saddest this morning? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, well, Birmingham fans. I know, that's, that's, yeah. that's what I figured with balance. <laughs> Thanks for bringing that So we'll gloss yeah. over that, actually. <laughs> I started bringing up at the end, and I said, no, I'll go straight okay, in yeah, for yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be quiet now. Yeah. 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 Something more interesting, Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. We'll <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of how the arc of, of your characters and what's happening with, with this movie, how has it been, and how, how have you felt getting into the finale and finally getting into the meat of all that's happened and all that's gone before? It's really, um, it's really gone pretty quickly, really. Yeah. Uh, especially when we were getting into the characters for this this one. You see, Fred and George are really in their their original state, really very happy, mm. laughing about creating jokes, and then they suddenly go straight into very serious. They understand the danger. What not only Harry's in, but they're in now, and it's um, it's quite interesting. Mm. And from one of you, there's a lot happens which we can't even we can't say in case there are two people on the planet who haven't been read the books. Yeah. But uh, is that interesting? Really, knowing that that certain elements are, are dramatic elements are about to happen. Is that is that good from an actress' point of view that this is coming up? I think so. Yeah, definitely. If if I, I, and from a fan's point of view, because yeah. it's it's not like everything's just thrown on them and they don't know what's, what to expect. For I say, apart from probably two people in the world who haven't yeah. read the book or anything, yeah. but the it's from an actor's point of view, it's great having the. You have the script to go from, and the book as well, which mm. is in finer detail of the, the specific scene you're doing. So that was pretty cool to, to do, yeah. How has it been, like, over ten years, eight movies, and the camaraderie you've built up with, the, with your fellow cast, and is it a wrench to leave that, and, and do you still have the friendships, and is there a sort of a, a sadness as well in, in leaving Hogwarts behind, so to speak? I think there will be. It still hasn't, for me, it hasn't sunk in yet, mm. because we've still got, obviously, when it comes out, uh, when HP 7 Part 2 comes out, it'll be... Then, then we'll notice it. But I mean, we still keep in contact with a lot of the guys. Um, I mean, we play golf with uh, with Rupert and Tom quite often. We see Matt quite a lot. So it's um, we'll still. It's not going to be hard to keep in contact and in touch with everybody. Who's the best golfer actually? Uh, I am actually. No, that's fair yeah, you, ha you have to build for it. You have. To. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that in for you. You have that Dustin Johnson look about you. Okay. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Right. But will it be will it be arranged like, when you're finally going and leaving leaving Hogwarts, or have you already were you planning for for quite a while? Life after the next stage in your career? Yeah, I, I guess so. I mean, we always knew that this would be the last mm. one, so it wasn't as if when it finished that was kind of mm. it. So uh, yeah, we kind of had a we had a good, a kind of a good just get away, do something completely different. I mean, three days after we wrapped Potter, I ended up doing a small little independent movie, which was completely different. Yeah. And then Oliver, Rupert, and myself, we did a little road trip down to Barcelona. Uh, cool. Just in a, is in a called the Wacky Rally. So you, yeah. you can only spend two hundred fifty quid in a car. Yeah. You got to drive it down there. It was pretty yeah. random. Um, yeah, and then we just got all the publicity st stuff to do until the end of the year, pretty much. Mm. And then there's a few things in the pipeline for the new year, which is quite yeah. exciting. Yeah, because last time I was speaking to actually, I think we're heading off to Norway. Yeah, that's so, right. yeah, that was yeah. that was pretty cool. That premiere yeah. as well in all in Norway. It was, it was pretty insane. And we learned a lot actually on that. We learned that a lot of the stuff in the books and everything have been changed for the Norwegian audience. Oh, nice. <laughs> like Fred and George are actually Fred and Fred and Fred Frank. Frank. All right, okay. And it's Quidditch is called Flumpy Dunk yeah. and all the different <laughs> things like that. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that. Like, yeah, exactly. And so you were speaking Norwegian on screen. You must have. Yeah, well, well, yeah. I didn't realise how fluent we were. Ah, but yeah, we must really have been very impressive. <laughs> <actually, yeah. laughs> how has it, has it been? Quite surreal seeing yourself grow up on screen and like over the years that you're there and you're at various stages. And if you if you catch the movies on TV, depending on which movie is on, you're seeing yourselves at a different stage. Has that been quite surreal? It, it has been. I mean, it's especially over. It always seems to be on an English television on Christmas Day. <laughs> Yeah, and we normally get a, a phone call, a text from our friend going, ah, oh. <laughs> and you say what? Oh, and then you put the television on, and you're there, like yeah. 14 year old. Hello, like, yeah. Yeah. quite wide eyed and high voiced. Yeah. How has the, the the fame thing been over the years? Has, has it been good? Have people been come up to you, and has it been? It's all been, good. It's been quite. Yeah, it's yeah. been really good. We've we've been fortunate enough to to get into it gradually. Yeah. I don't know how Rupert, Dan, and uh, and Emma do such a good job handling it because they were just thrusted into it. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've been all right, haven't we? And just as, as a final question, I've been speaking to the rest of the guys, and nobody has managed to sort of secure a souvenir of their, their many years in Hogwarts. So have you, have you guys got anything, or if you could get something, is there anything in particular you'd like to actually have yeah. a souvenir? Was that their official answer? That's the that official answer, okay, and yeah, when the cameras stopped, we didn't yeah. talk about it differently. Uh, well, yeah, the official answer, no, we haven't got yeah. anything. <laughs> but uh, if <laughs> I were we? to, yeah, if you were to, we were yeah. to. Should we were to, yeah. yeah. I'd love to get... Um, one thing they were very tight about not giving away was the wand. Yeah. But I'd love to have had a wand. But should hypothetically we were to take something, 
Uh, I think a bag from uh, like a prop from our joke shop in the oh, second right, yeah, would yeah. be good, like a bag or some sweets from the <laughs> puking pasties. What's well, good the um, the currency like in the Gringotts mm. Bank? Literally, although on screen it'll just probably be like a flash of silver and that's it. But they're actually all detailed with Gringotts Bank and like the the pictures of wizards on anything. So all all that is really like the detail goes into the props. Really was fantastic. Okay. Well, I suspect it'll be searching your pockets on the way out. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no